Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, improved counterattack. Nice. And that's three. Right? Uh, yep, it, I believe so. I want to double check to make sure, but I'm pretty sure it's up to three attacks. Okay, so for the mail, you guys going to check out the mail? First, I'm going to check out my box. Oh, yes, the box. It is locked still. I get Mr. Dibs to open it. Okay. Oh, boy. Be a, uh, uh, a thievery roll at minus two. No, but why? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Your thievery goes up by two. Up by what? One die. Aha, so now it's trained. <laughs> You've been doing untrained this whole time? Yes. <laughs> no one actually knows how to do this. Are we opening the mail right now? Uh, we're opening Robin's box she stole from Bahram. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and then I assume the mail. Yes. Hey, I blew, uh, blew up the six. And again. Did they invent? Quick question. Did they invent those like blue ink explosion things yet? Because that'd be I hilarious. I don't think so. I think so, that's more of a modern thing. Does the lockpick take away the unchained penalty? That's all it does. No, it negates the minus two for not having lockpicks. Oh. <laughs> having, lockpicking is something where having the tools for it is kind of important. Okay. Okay. You're, I mean, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So All that right. first time you were actually at a D4 minus four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Correct. Um, All right. So what'd you get there? I got a six, six, three. Three. Okay. So no, uh, you no, can keep no, trying. I, no, no. I got a six, six, and a three. I'm trying. To, I was doing math. Fifteen. Yeah. 15. Oh. Minus oh, two. Yes, of course. Minus two. Thirteen. Yes, absolutely. All right. <laughs> um. I thought you... I don't know what you... I thought... Yeah, yeah, that's no, all good. It's all good. All right, so you get it open. Um, inside, there are a... Um, there is a, uh, a block of wax and a couple of, um, like, seal... Like, wax uh, oh. seal stamps. Oh, tight! And a really... Uh, a bottle of ink and a, uh, a pretty nice uh, fountain pen. Hmm. Oh shit! What's the seal of? Uh, it's the Bahram uh, Port Authority seal. <laughs> wow, we could do a lot of damage with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah we could. For future fun times, I, I think we're building up quite a case that we could be. That what? So I think we're building on quite the case that we could be valuable three aisles. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay, so, and then the, you wanna, you guys wanna take a look at the mail? Yeah. I mean, I know it's a felony, but I gotta look at it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, uh, tampering with, like, uh, mail addressed to, like, government officials is actually punishable by being burnt at the stake. In uh, the Empire of Arnak, so hmm. there you go. Um, okay, so the mail. I have a handout for the mail. Do I? Oh, okay, yep, it's okay. All right, so I really yeah. hope we accidentally just stole someone's birthday card. In bags of mail, or it's... just the one little thing that's being. So there, there were two locked coffers that were fairly large. Um, and then there was a, uh, a scroll case banded with iron. I guess, yeah, there, there probably is, like, another bag of, like, random bullshit mail, um, that they had that's just, like, less important, not even in, like, a locked box. Um, it, not, not bags and bags, because Bahrim is, you know, there's not that many people writing to each other. Um, but yeah, there is some mail for random people. Robin's gonna 
go through the, the not important mail. I'm just going to say, <laughs> go find all the mail. juicy love letters for Black yeah, Mail. Or there something. are a couple of, like, uh, of, of saucy love letters from, oh, from nice. uh, people. Any uh, birthday cards with money in it? A lot of them are for uh, for soldiers, um, and their you know their their loves at home. Um, there's a couple of like business correspondent things. Ooh. I go through those. Yeah, it, it's talking about like shipments and stuff. Um, yep. Are there are there specific information on these? There is, uh, I guess, it, like put it together. There, there's a bit of, of good information there. Yeah, uh, probably not much more than what you got from the uh, Bahram like log. Although it's nice in conjunction with that, just like a little, uh, little extra spice to that information. Okay. Um, the other things. Um, yeah, so the box, the two boxes are locked, and the scroll case is also, uh, locked. Oh, can I cast, um, Detect Arcana, please? You sure can. On that scroll case. I'm gonna try to do better if Mr. Dibs is boost. I got a six. Six, okay. Uh, and then do you want to give me a spellcasting roll? Just because if there is something that is uh, sure. concealed or then it's a little drill. Got it. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I got a nine. Um, yes. So there is a magical uh, effect on the lock, um, and it was concealed. Oh, Fortunately okay. for you, I rolled a one on the epistrel. <laughs> nice. Um, so the uh, you you see, there's like this invisible rune uh, on the uh, the lock uh, that is sort of when you when you activate detect magic, it glows with this like fiery red aura. Okay. So it looks explosive in nature. Okay. Well, I increased my I... block picking by two dice. Can I tell if it is um, designed to like explode and like kill the person opening it, or is it like destroying the contents? Um, it's it's like a a large and angry enough rune that it probably can do both. Okay. No bueno. Yeah. All right, so... I'm gonna try to dispel it. Yep. Alright. Check, I think that might also be it. Never actually used Dispel yet. This is fun. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It's a good thing you thought to use that, because <laughs> that, that would have been very unpleasant for Mr. Mr. Dip's I, health. Uh, yeah, I wasn't yeah, actually expecting the sucked. lock. I was like, oh, maybe there's like a magic scroll in here. Okay, yeah, so that's also a scroll once you... All right. Um, so for plus one power points, dispel can disrupt enchanted devices for one round or two with a raise. The difficulty to do so is negative two for permanently enchanted items such as found in most swords, sorcery, or negative four for divine or legendary relics. So, am I? Is that what I'm trying to do? Disrupt um, it. This is just. This is not an powerful enough to be an enchanted item. It's just like a. Uh, a spell trap. Okay, basically. so I'm just like trying to dispel yeah. any other spell. Basically, yeah. Okay. It, it's like a permanent spell, but it's it's not. It, it, it's like a ritual casting, basically. Got it. Okay. So it works the same as a spell. Uh, I got a five. Okay, I rolled a one again. <laughs> <laughs> So, Man, whoever cast is the, bad. Yeah, he's just real bad. <laughs> um, all right. Yep. So you you were able to to scrub that rune off with some water magic. Nice. Okay. There you go, Mister Dibs. It should be safe now. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> so you have three you. items, uh, all with probably pretty good locks. But so you have a D six now. Yep. I got a five. Okay. Um, 
So these locks are minus four. What? Did the um, did the other did the chest have any magic on them? Uh, neither of the coffers did. What okay. did you just say? A minus four? Uh, yep. That's well, what I said. Well, this is gonna take a goddamn while, ladies. <laughs> well, why don't you just get the bolt cutters? Why yeah. don't I? Or the I guess we saw. <laughs> or the or or some or some smite. Yeah, that would work too. Right. Cast smite on you my lock cut the, the the padlock off. Yeah, because I'm sitting here, and like three rolls, four rolls, five, the, nothing. So if if you you can reattempt, but if you roll a one on the the trait die, you can't. All right. You just like <laughs> no, I can't do this. Okay, there we go. I got a fucking eleven minus four for a seven after seven attempts. <laughs> no ones though. The one, any ro any one I rolled was on the wild die. And this is on the scroll case. Oh, whatever they pointed me at first. I think Tara handed you that. So yeah, I did. Okay. Um. Yep. So that takes you probably like fifteen minutes or so, fifteen twenty minutes, um, of working on it. Probably a lot of swearing. Yeah. Uh, but you're eventually able to brute force it, and you open it to see a uh, this big fancy scroll, which uh, I'm going to. There, there's your goddamn scroll. There you go. Hope Did that, that just show up on your on the handout? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. is there more cheese in the captain's quarters? Cheese? No keys. <laughs> uh, no, he did not have the keys for these. But is there cheese? Um, there's. There's a piece of cheese. Oh, yeah. that's mine. Like a wheel or a slut or a wedge? No, just like a, a wedge of cheese. Oh, that wedge is mine. Nice and stinky. I'm taking that. Can't go. Can't can't so pass up nice free cheese. Of wine. Oh, I can't pass up free cheese and wine. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Um, but yep, that's what the the scroll has. It is a uh, um, probably pretty. Uh, Confidential military correspondence. Well, it's on I'm this big it. ornate fancy thing. So they want hollows. They want carrot hollows. Yep, yeah, that's the gist of it. <laughs> I got so enamored by the title that I was like, "In chosen emperor of mankind, the circle of Secundus." Wait, the emperor is requesting a wait. What? <laughs> 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 yeah, you like you like the uh, the emperor's titles. Yeah, but okay, so it's on his behalf. The circle behalf. of Secundus is requesting additional shipments. Correct. <laughs> okay, I was like, well, is he the circle of Secundus too, or? <laughs> no, that's the that's the like the main uh, order of mages. <laughs> Got it. Are not the second circle is the main order. Oh. It's the uh yeah, it's named after the uh the Oracle Secundus. Okay. Which is the second oracle, yes. Well, I wonder if um What's in a wonder ball? Just saying. I bet I wonder if they were gonna pay for them with what's in these coffers. Well let's find out. Alright. Coffer number one or number two? Number three. They are identical. Oh, so. All right. The first one I roll an at one on, or you know, not a crit, but uh, I did roll a one on the on the trait die, uh, about like the second roll in. Okay. And then the third one I got, I got a five total after about seven rolls again. Okay. So so the first box, you just like you work on it for a little bit and you just you can't get that one for some reason and just give up and push that aside and you try the other one after about another 20 minutes you get that one open um i'm gonna cast smite on my knife okay uh i need you to make an agility roll at minus two mr dibs uh -huh. good thing i got a benny left motherfucker oh okay so my wild die is amazing i got a six six and a three again for a 15, but I got a 1 on my trait. That's fine. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so as you as you like pop open the lock and open it up, a dart shoots out from the like the sort of just from the the top of the lid, and uh, you're able to jerk your hand back. The dart flies up and sort of embeds itself in the like wooden rafter above you. Oh, <laughs> assume you're doing this in like the captain's cabin or something. Yeah. Boom. Yep. What kind of dart is it? Poisoned. Uh, um. You know, like pull it out and inspect it. Uh, what's the, okay? First, what's in the coffers? Uh, there are letters. Oh, letters. Then yes, I put set those down and look at the dart. Most of the letters are sealed. I assume you're gonna open the seals. I'm not. I'm not dealing with letters. I stand up and take the dart. Right. Okay. Um. So looking at the dart, there does appear to be a um. A sort of oily sheen on it. Uh huh. Um, All right. I'm gonna. I don't know. Go f go make a little leather uh, sheath for that. <laughs> okay, to preserve it. Yep, and then just keep it. Sounds good. So you have a a dart with unknown poison on it. Yeah, I can't wait to stab that on to, into someone that we're interrogating. Oh, yeah, that's good. Alright, so second box is on there. I I cast Smite with a raise and AP6 on my knife. Alright. I'm gonna just start um, cutting through those iron bands, I guess. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'll lean back. Smite Wait, this AP is the one he didn't six. open, right? Yeah. 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 As you start doing that, he gets the other one open and a dart shoots out of it, so... <laughs> I'll like, I'll like, lean off to the side a little and then keep cutting. Okay, so you spend a little bit more time uh, cutting the, just disassembling the box, which you know you can do. You have, you're under no time constraints, so um, this one, no dart springs out of it. Oh sure, you get the easy one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you do open it, uh, and there are, are letters in there as well. Um, oh. Several letters. Mail. Now, put on the thing. Mm. So there's, yeah, the the second box the, with the dart, and it had some uh, military correspondence to uh, the uh, the general concerning troop movements around Bahrain and oh. uh, reference of naval reinforcements. The renegade fleet of the Free Isle. Yeah. And then the other one had uh, stuff more directly to do with uh, Bahram. And you you find a uh, a specific interesting one that yeah. sort of catches your eye in there. Oh, we need to steal this ship. <laughs> the one that's got the payment on it. I mean, it doesn't look like there has been any payments or and forever and might not ever be payments yeah that's the that's the reason of the letter yeah but that is a a uh, <laughs> shit ton of debt <laughs> yeah 10 percent oh. interest monthly <laughs> that's that's the sort of debt you never even try to pay off yeah that's probably why he hasn't paid it for 28 months damn wonder what severe action is. I mean, we could go get a job for the bank as debt collectors. That's what I did before I joined the pirate game. Um, I'll we we can just go say that we're debt collectors. Or that. <laughs> yeah. And collect the debt. Uh, you guys do... Uh, well, I guess you could make a common knowledge roll to see if you... Well, you know that Jabbar al Basri is the governor of Bahram in this, but if you care more than that, you can make a common knowledge roll. So, Bahram in general is just super in debt. No, Robin knows nothing. Eh, I got a five. Oh, the, this letter seems to imply his personal household is uh, in this debt. You're not sure how much that spills over to Bahram itself. 
Um, with your five, Mr. Dib, uh, you know that the, the Al Basri uh, family owns a, the vast majority of the farmland surrounding Bahram and a lot of businesses where within. Um, with your background as a noble and just like looking at the the amount of money there, that's probably the worth of at least 75% of his land holdings. Oh. So that is a that is a a lot of money. So he, he, so he the He's bank not gonna pay on that. the bank literally owns his entire estate. Yeah, the problem is the bank is also uh, half a world away. So, but for four million, they might travel. They might. Uh, you also know that uh, if if people in Bahrim were to know about this, it would probably not look good. To for the governor, so. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, so do you want it the blackmail route or the uh, the pretending that we're debt collector route? Well, I say we we sit on it for a bit. Either way, whatever you decide to do, it's definitely a valuable letter. Yes. All right. Knowledge. Where, is what are the Jiwan Jiangtung rivers? Uh, they're labeled on map here. They're just the big rivers around the Spirit Fire Bay here. Oh, okay. Um, the Jiwa is uh, soul in Karite, and uh, Jantung is heart. So. Not really relevant, but that's something that Robin would know at the very least. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's all the mail. At least the exciting stuff. Well, this is some good fucking mail! <laughs> yeah, I'd say yeah. it's gonna be, uh, hopefully worth, hopefully worth the blood. These, uh, these couriers really didn't want to give it up. So, the Barham Harbor Master also is the General of the 7th Foreign Legion? Uh, no, that those are two different people. It's just that that letter, there was like multiple copies that were addressed. Oh, to, to the Byram Harbor Master, the General of the Seventh Foreign Legion, and then Reverend Father of the Kai Rahib. Yep. Okay, got it. I thought it was like this guy with all these jobs. <laughs> I was like, man, that's a busy dude. He's very overworked. <laughs> Poor so guy. Tired. Yeah. No, no, three different people. Okay. Cool. All right. Um. All right. Yeah. So that's that's the mail. Um. All right. So I see a few things in the mail. One, we should totally stop by Ketris, go see Dio, and give him this letter about the Hollows. Cause I, I mean, we know. We kind of know what's going on with, like, hollow production. Yeah. I assume that, like, there aren't many, like, conclaves of hollow experimenting people in the land. Probably not that many, no. The technology have... was pretty recently, uh, it, like, pretty recently came to uh, the Cursed Sea in, like, the past couple of years. And he would also maybe be able to connect it to either of these two people. Because he's just in Ketris, so we're not that far, even. They're pretty close. I, mean, um, I wouldn't um, mind stopping and getting rid of some... ...and weapons. Some contraband weapons, you say? Yeah. Also, say hi to our shark friends. <laughs> oh yeah, we saw their heads in a, in a barrel. <laughs> we still yeah. got the barrel of... Barrel pickled heads. Oh, that's great. Um... All right, so first things first, you guys spend uh, two days of sailing to get to uh, the Dryad's Eye. Um, this is the thing that I was trying to look at. Distracted by the mail. All right, 
Um, so to safely uh, beach the ship, you want to make a boating roll. Tara. Okay. All right. Um, it's at minus two. Just because of base difficulty. Okay. Hmm. Uh, the crew can assist, though. Okay. Oh, what? They six. They they helped. Wow. Thanks, guys. That never happens. I. Well, unfortunately, I God, I don't have any bennies either. Fuck. Uh, so plus two, minus two. Oh, puts me on a two with a one on my trait die. I don't know if that matters. Two. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um. So. Means the uh, the landing is not quite as nice as you would want it to be. Oops. Um. So seventeen damage to base hull. Oh, we're okay. That's one point away from a wound, right? Yep. Oh. All right. So you you scrape the board. Some some of the boards like crack and splinter, but it's not enough to cause an, another. Uh, <laughs> a perfect landing. It was a little bit of a rutch, rough part of beach, and you went in a little bit fast. So while we're here, do we also want to beach the uh, the galley and do repairs on that too? Uh, I don't think the galley is damaged. Actually, we only fired grape shot at it basically. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, the galley is fine. It's just the crew that took the hurt. Some of the oars are broken, but whatever. Um, in the two days that we came, that we spent over here, did they, uh, did the, the freemen have any, or did they start to, like, build morale, or are they still? Um, so the, uh, I would say, like, maybe 15 of the slaves are, are, like, sort of built up enough that they, they have, like, the drive to want to, like, be free. Um, the others are mostly just afraid that they'll get like killed if if they are ever found, and they're pretty sure that they're going to be end up in some Arnaki port again, and then get punished. So they'll do whatever you want, but they're they they still have the mindset of slaves, I guess you could say. Okay. So, um, I I feel like we should probably beach the galley, anyways, just so that all our uh, enemies chained to the row or rows the oars don't get any funny ideas. Yeah, and and make make their escape while you're. Um, there is also the thing where uh, so there there is timber here. You can cut down the trees in the triad's eye. Um, I don't really want to. Or you could take the like cannibalized part of the uh, of the galley. Would that be essentially just trading? Pretty much, yeah. Because I'm. You'd be you'd be like taking one of their masts and like ripping apart part of their hull. Uh, you know, not enough so that they sink, but enough to to fix your yours. If I believe the stories, and I definitely do, I'm a sailor. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with the dryads. Mm -hmm. Bad. Um, bad uh, juju. Bad juju. That's the technical term for it. It's also bad luck having a woman a ship, but I get over that somehow. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe that's why you've been so unlucky. The first ship I served on and helmed did in fact sink, so... Yeah. <laughs> my track record isn't great. I like how you didn't tell us that. <laughs> I mean, I'm... It came up at some point. Yeah. I'm, um... I've helmed... 
at least four ships. Probably five or six, depending on my time between. Yeah. Uh, my, my track record's actually pretty good. Yeah, Just one. one of them sink. That's not a bad ratio. So we gonna cat or do repairs, and then so that would that actually that would just move the speed. Sorry, what was that? So that would just move the the galley speed. We just tri take its mast. Uh, yeah, you'd be going just as slow if you're still taking the galley. But your ship would be nice again. Mm -hmm. Are you also? Are you gonna maroon the guys on this on this island? Yeah, I feel like dry is a good place to maroon them. It's not terrible. Well, let's let's fix up our ship first. All right. Um. So that is, uh, if at least half your crew is helping, which they they can't really do much else. Uh, it'll be one d four days of work per wound, um, and then it'd be, of course, with a successful repair roll. Uh, so, Mr. Dibs, you can uh, you can roll to probably assist the carpenter. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully, I don't break anything. Yeah. Don't so make some, it. Don't crit fail. Yep. I've been doing good on crit fails. You know, after I okay, crit fail. Really? Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. One and <laughs> a one. Oh boy. <laughs> well, hopefully, uh, um, your carpenter rolls well. Catch now he's that. rolling at minus two. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, he still got a success even with the minus two. Cool. So uh, I'm there and I'm hitting my thumb and then I'm good hitting job, his Doomy. thumb. Or it's, no, Kadok. Uh, Kadok. Yeah. Yeah. The the carrot. Um. All right. Oh, yeah, oh so, damn it! Damn it! Come here, hold this. Wham! Oh, you son of a bitch! All right. <laughs> you know, so I, just, I end up hitting his thumb. Two days of work to repair the mast. Um. Yeah. <laughs> you 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 kind of mostly just get in the way. Oh yeah. Because um, you're you're trying to figure out your shotgun mast thing, mainly, and and that's just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the way. Causing problems. It's just like, oh, well, if we put it right here, it's, uh, no. Gets your hands out of there. But I'm telling you, I just want to make the the the, the, <laughs> the braces that we can put them on later. And then I like I, I put one on and it's like just shitty. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I see your point. Okay. Um. All okay. right. So then the next section would be another roll for the healing the other one. Me and him again. Does yeah, he even want my fucking help? Yeah. Oh, might Are you stop. gonna let him refuse your help? No. Yeah, so... <laughs> I mean, he'll accept it because... He's not going to refuse it. He won't attempt a futile effort. Exactly. He knows you. Alright, I got a five this okay. time. Alright, so... Yep, you, you fix it up the rest in another three days of work, so... Total of five days, um... Six, seven. Uh, so you guys have you are somewhat low on food at this point. The other ship has provisions, right? The other ship has provisions, so you definitely have enough to get to your your nearest port. Um, they had enough for their people, which is quite a bit. And then you still have to feed the slaves, so. From your provisions alone, you'd have... I mean, we also have a hold of food. Four days. Okay, yeah, you could eat that too. Oh, well, that, that's like sugar cane, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, if you had to, you could eat that. But you're you're good to get to Ketris if you're trying to go there. You're just... We'll probably have to buy some more provisions if you intend on keeping the, uh, the, uh, the slave ship around longer. So, Ketris is uh, is part of the Arnaki territories, right? Correct. So it's kind of the it's kind of the shitty backwater of the Imperial territories, but it is still 
part of the Imperial Times. Yeah, we should bring the galley there. They <laughs> will absolutely confiscate escape slaves. If you just blatantly come in with, like, a stolen Imperial courier vessel with a bunch of slaves on it. Uh, so, would, I'm sure someone would want to hear the story. Story of what? Of how and why. Why we came rolling in with a ship full of slaves. Like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. I mean, you, you might even be able to get away with it if you bribed enough people. Mm -hmm. But you would definitely have to bribe some. Well, do we want to... Do we want to just try to make it all the way? Oh, um, also, before you, you plan anything, I almost forgot. Uh, uh, shortly after you uh, the ship was, uh, you guys uh, drove your, your ship aground, um, a raven fluttered down from the sky ah, cool. uh, and sort of set a light on the uh, on the the railing next to the helm, Tara. Sort of nice. looked at you. All right, there's nice. a message. Got a little thing. I yep. will take it. I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the message is from Dio. Uh, it says, uh, "To uh, Captain Najar of the Forget Me Not, I find myself in need of your services." or your crew's services, once again. If you would... Uh, if you would amuse them. Hmm. Speak to me and Ketris at your earliest convenience. Well, that... That, I think, maybe just changed my mind here. Because I was thinking... I'll share that letter. Oh, also, it doesn't actually say it's from Dio, but... Right. He's got the thing, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe Dio's dead, and they took the necklace and know exactly how it works. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, my, I was originally thinking we just take the galley and try to go for broke and sail right into the free isle and say, Hey, we have information and a galley. Do you want us? <laughs> <laughs> or... To, I, was, I was thinking, because, like, yeah. what else... Where else can we bring this galley that they'd be like, sweet, free government ship? Yeah, <laughs> I felt it's probably the best plan for the galley, right? Oh, yeah, totally. But, yeah. like, we're so close to Ketris. Yeah, I was thinking. Just, like I said we can just both sail towards Ketris and just catch the galley in some cove or something. Um, You could, if you wanted to. Um... Yeah, you could have the like, yeah, dock the galley in some cove on the uh, the island of Ketris, and then have them chop some wood from the forest there, which is less dryad's eye, -y. <laughs> um, less forest of Fanghorn. Yeah. Uh, to to fix it so it's you know fast again. Um, Cause yeah, I mean, or you could just go for, uh, just take a little bit longer to get to Grey Harbor. Uh, the other thought is we if we, hmm, huh? What if? Okay, what if we? <laughs> what if we leave oh god okay all right we sail both of the ships into ketris mm -hmm. uh somebody pretends to be the captain of the galley we have a seal from barum i'm not sure how that would help we we chain the uh the the crewmen to the oars and say ah they're slaves don't listen to them Oh, that would definitely fail. <laughs> you yeah. can try it. I mean, I said we just maroon them on here. Oh, the the crew. Yeah. 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 yeah you're gonna you're gonna maroon the uh, the non-enslaved crew here. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. So we maroon them. We we beach the galley somewhere around the Ketris Isle. Leave some crew back to like repair it, and then we sail for Ketris and go talk to Dio. Yep. Come up with a plan and then go get the galley. Boom. Good. All right. Plan. Sounds like a plan. Um, okay, so yeah, marooning the guys. So you're just gonna cut them free. Or are you gonna give them anything? Uh, how many of them are there? There are twenty of them. Ah, fuck, that's so many guns. <laughs> I mean, give them a couple pistols so that they can hunt. Yep. You could give them like yeah. A, 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 a brace of pistols or two without sure. chipping into your your uh, stolen stuff that much. Alright, don't cut down the trees. I heard they're kind of bitchy. Uh, they're like lord guys here, right? They're captain? Yeah. <laughs> he he's is fancy, looking right? very... He's not fancy anymore. He's been... You've been... You forced him to row for two days. Right. <laughs> he is looking very defeated. Um, some of the, I mean, the other sailors are not as bad. Um, one of them actually, like, like, uh, who you would identify as the sharpshooter, who you're guessing is, like, an officer of some kind, um, says, uh, eh. if I'm being honest, this is a, uh, as best a fit as we could hope for. Yeah, mostly. We uh, failed our duty to protect the male, so there are consequences for that. Well, we did leave you on a pretty nice island, I think. I think you're lucky it's not the Forsaken Isles. That would be bad. But, uh... Shrugs have... skeptically. <laughs> have your pistols, don't cut down the trees. Bye! <laughs> yeah, they just kind of trudge off, probably down the beach. Because when I mean this is dense foliage, it's like really dense foliage. Like, do you want to go through? You have to cut through vines and like everything, the machete. Um, we didn't. We didn't give them a machete. Do you want to give them a machete? <laughs> ah, sure. Give them a boarding axe. All right. At least, do we even have a machete? I guess that's just a cut. You have. You have a cutting thing. Of some kind, yeah. With a big cutlass. Or a thick cutlass. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, yep, so there might may or may not die. But you don't you didn't execute them, so that's that was nice of you. Um and uh, that is dealt with, so you guys head out back towards Ketris. Um so un Beaching the ship takes, uh, both of the ships takes about a day. Let's see, that was two days of sailing. I like that the guy was so sad that they failed their duty to protect the male. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cute. Uh, the best we can hope for. We failed our sacred duty to protect the male. Okay, Eeyore. <laughs> The, I mean, the, uh, the it was more implied that they would face uh, punishment for failing. Right, right. Not out of, like, a, a civic duty. Yeah, and not out of just, like, total, like, devotion to the... To the, the mail. The federal mail system. <laughs> as funny as that would be. Um, Alright, so, yeah, you, you guys unbeach, um, and make for Ketris. Um, yeah, I'm not going to make you make a navigation roll for that. That's pretty simple. That's our for the entire time. Yeah. Um, Alright, yep. So you get to Ketris and you, ha you have the galley. You find like a cove for the galley. Uh, takes about two days to get there and get everything sorted. Um, but you arrive in Ketris now, um, which I think you've been... You've been gone from there for about two months now. You've had these thing. pickled heads for quite a while. Yeah, they're very pickled now. Um, yeah, 
So you're back in Catrus. Do me. Sell the stuff. Do the thing. All right. I will get to it. Is there anything that we want to look at buying? Provisions. Provisions, of course. We need to last a while. Yes, we will look at uh, getting some more of those. And see if there's something that, that uh, the, the folks at Grey Harbor are buying. Very well. I'll look into it. Uh, do we want to sell the uh, weaponry that we got? Uh, yes. I okay. think so. All right. Um, so we'll... Let's see. Do you want to do that before or after you do random town stuff? I figured I'd send Doomy on that. And okay. So we'll, yeah, we'll we'll deal with the we'll crunch the numbers after uh, you do your thing. Um, all right. So yep, the forget me not is fully repaired. It will probably take at least a week for the the galley crew to repair their that that ship. Um. Uh, do they have enough provisions for a week, or are we have to bring those provisions? Uh, you will probably have to bring them some provisions. Because, yeah, they have all the slaves. So, um, yeah, that would be... Uh, How long? <laughs> probably a unit of provisions for... There's, there's like... Okay, um, yeah, let's say like, uh, 200, so a, a unit of provisions, so 250 marks of provisions for dealing with that. So you're basically just paying that to repair the ship instead of paying to repair the ship in harbor. Um, you can take that off of your, uh, whatever fund and the at some point the forget me not will make a, a day trip out there to deliver them but that is not a problem alright so I'll just take that out of the ship fund yep um alright so while you're in Ketris uh, what do you guys want to do well I think we play. should Probably immediately go talk to Dio. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So you. Because I also want to ask him for advice about the shark, the shark uh, 